everyone, it's Joe Jacoby, GoldToGreenTV.com. Today's report brought to you by Southern Hearth and Patio on the web at www.southernhearth.com. And today joining me, we have Lee Curtis and Patricia Gray from the uh, Tennessee Department of Tourism. And we are at Ruby Falls for the launch of their solar panels. So welcome to GoldToGreenTV.com. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Joe. Oh, it's great to have you guys in Chattanooga. So tell me, what brings you to Chattanooga today? Well, absolutely the launch of the solar panels. We're here on behalf of Commissioner Susan Whitaker and the department to recognize Ruby Falls' great efforts with the solar panel being the first tourist attraction in the nation to become green certified with Green Globe. And that is so exciting for the tourism industry, not just in the state, but in the nation, for Tennessee and Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ruby Falls, to set that standard for sustainable tourism. Now, uh, Patricia, let's talk a little bit about the third of third party verification and the certification because I think the idea here is that this isn't just about someone slapping a green label on their business and saying I'm green. Tell us a little bit how you sort of see this third party verification process coming along. We feel like it's so important to take and have the third party certification so that it's credible when you have your visitors here, when you have the industry looking at you as a leading partner in sustainable tourism. And we really feel like that that gives to the attraction that is working so hard to be more sustainable, and we're just so proud to be here today to join them. And I, well, I was only going to ask, and to play off of that, do you feel like that travelers and visitors who are kind of looking to get away, how important is that becoming to them in, in, in their travels? We think it's becoming very important. Now, Patricia can address that in a moment, too, heading up our research for the department. But I know if you ask our front desk receptionist, and if you talk to visitors, and I know, you know, our family and friends and get they want to know who's sustainable, they want to stay at facilities that care about the environment, and they want to know what they're doing so they can feel like when they travel, they're doing a part of it to contribute back. They feel like they're giving back by contributing back to saving the earth. So as you travel around and you talk to some of the state's most iconic attractions, and I know you've talked to the folks here at Ruby Falls and you've seen what they've done, tell me about both, I don't want to say pros and cons, it's not the right word, but what are sort of the attractions and the challenges that you're sort of hearing from Tennessee's kind of biggest attractions uh, in going green? I think the um, number one thing is finding out you know what are those best practices? Who are who is doing it? How can it? How is it applicable to my business? Mm -hmm. Is there funding out there that can assist, like mm -hmm. the governor's energy program, which right. assisted with Ruby Falls? It's mm -hmm. connecting the dots, and that's what we hope to do as a state program: is to bring resources and best practices, and just talk to the industry about what can be done. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the options that you have. Let's see which apply to you, which you can afford to take and do. There is a cost associated with going green. And, but like uh, Hugh Morrow said with Ruby Falls, it's something that we need to do. And so allocating resources for it makes sense because in the long run it's going to save us money and it's going to bring us more tourists. And let us define sustainable tourism for you. Please. Uh, Commissioner Whitaker absolutely sees this as sustaining your culture and heritage of that region or that attraction while at the same time sustaining the economic growth through tourism. So you're bringing together both components from preservation, cultural heritage efforts to the economic benefits. And like Patricia said, I think the challenge is, you know, looking at the resources, you know, weighing it out, but absolutely to try to understand what sustainable tourism is and protecting the environment while sustaining your culture and heritage. And absolutely, Ruby Falls has certainly uh, set the stage in a leading effort to do this. So as I understand, it almost sounds like it's like trying to establish a common language that we all talk. So we're not really comparing apples to apples, I mean apples to oranges, uh -huh. but we're really trying to sort of set a platform that we can all communicate what this is and what it's not. Absolutely, and another thing that we have found, uh, again, like I said earlier with Ruby Falls, 80 years ago, they were recycling the limestone, you know, the water. So many things that they've done here, but a lot of people don't realize that they're already being sustainable. 
you know, they're already being sustainable. So, you know, we're helping to point out, you're already doing this, so let's just steer you again in the right direction and bring more resources to help them understand and that they can to enhance talk about it. it. Yeah, talk enhance about it. What you're doing. <laughs> I think this is a huge part of it, and it's actually where the idea of goldgreentv.com yeah. came from. Was it's not just about what's happening, but how do you go about telling your story? Yeah. How do you? This is exciting things that I think people are curious about, and they sort of have their own filter. Is like, what does this mean to me? Exactly, exactly. So. And we can talk and hold conferences and summits and bring great speakers in, but they really love to see the attractions that are doing it. So our website, you know, for the industry and for the consumer, is really now going to help showcase those attractions in Tennessee. Uh, that we've identified and have fun doing it, have a weaver drive, right. have right. fun doing it, you know, to see who is going green and it just is getting bigger and bigger and we're getting greener and greener. So it, it's really a lot of fun too. There's, you, are, you don't have to sell me on the idea that these two ladies are having fun. This is Lee Curtis, this is Patricia Gray. They are with the Tennessee Department of Tourism. You can find them on the web at tnvacation.com slash green. Thank you guys so much for joining us Thank on Gold Degree. Thank you. Thank it's you. great to have you guys. It's great to be here. Yeah, well, we want to see you more in Chattanooga. Well, absolutely. absolutely. Right. Place to be. Absolutely.